You've hired a great salesperson, but you've also hired a human being. And even great human beings come with blind spots and faults. So there's a really good chance in your career as a sales manager, you're going to have to give feedback to one of even your great salespeople. It's important to remember that effective sales management is emotion management. Quick example. Jennifer is a sales manager, and John, one of her top salespeople, is running behind plan for the first time in two years. She sets up that coaching session with the right purpose and intent to get John back on track. As she's delivering feedback, she uses the sandwich method. She shares something positive John is doing, gives him some feedback based on her observation, and wraps it up with a positive. On that day, John is not hungry. John doesn't like sandwiches, and he starts lobbing excuses back to Jennifer. Well, you know, if I didn't have so many operations issues around here, maybe I could sell something. I've, uh, I've checked out the competition. We are way overpriced. That's the reason I lost those last three deals. Now, if you're like most of my overachieving sales managers, excuses are like nails on a chalkboard and they can trigger you. In fact, they can turn you into a trial attorney where you lay out a great closing argument to overcome every excuse. Your response further triggers your salesperson and now you're caught in the trigger response regret loop. You're both fighting hard to be right rather than get it right. Sales managers, what can you do when you find yourself getting emotionally triggered? Pause, breathe, and ask the powerful question. What else is going on here? By asking the question, you move closer to empathy, understanding what the salesperson is thinking or feeling. Huh, I wonder if John's defensive response is because he's just flat out discouraged. He's been working hard and nothing seems to be popping. Hmm. I am guessing at this point John might be having a little self-doubt. He's wondering if he even can make it in sales in this industry, in this business. Ask the powerful question, you'll change your emotional response, which allows you to continue delivering the right coaching and training skills. In the words of the late and great John Wooden, manage your emotions or they'll manage you. Effective sales management is emotion management. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership.